Hey guys, in this video we will be checking out on how you can install the latest one of light custom ROM firmware which is basically based on the 4.1.1 Jellyvin build. So the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone which is looking at right now on your screen. Now first up you will have to go to the link which is just mentioned below this video or to go through the article. So once you are done through the article, all you should do is head over to the procedure section after following all the instructions carefully mentioned and then download the zip package of Manum Lite in your computer once you have finished downloading this package connect your F3 to the computer with a original USB cable and place the Manum Lite package in your smartphone so assuming that you have already put the zip file in your device and to be precise you need to place the zip file in the external SD card of your uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. Once it's placed, disconnect the phone, and now all you need to do is just press long press on the power button so as to turn off the same. So we'll have to first turn off the device. So now to ensure that your device is rooted and installed with the proper mode recovery actually able to do that in the procedure section so when this light goes off the phone will give a small vibration kind of thing so now the phone is vibrated already now all you do is press the volume up key then the menu button then the menu button and then just simply press the power button until you see the recovery screen so this is a recovery screen which I'm seeing it right now since this latest quad mod recovery 6.0.1.2 the touch based options are there so before you proceed first up select the wipe data and cache option which will basically delete all the cache data which is there in your device after that, you need to set the option of wipe data or factory reset. So once it's done, it will take few seconds, <coughs> few seconds for completing the same. So once it's done, you need to select the option of install zip from SD card, and then you will be getting so many options that apply blah 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 and all. Just ignore all that. And just select the option of use it from external SD card. And once you do that, you'll get an option of GDI1900. This is the file name of Phantom Light XX DLIB based. All you need to do is just select the same. Just tap on the same to select it. And then tap on yes option. So once you have selected the zip package. As you can see that the finding update package and then opening package and then you will also get a progress bar which will indicate that the firmware is being updated and to what extent the firmware is being updated as you can see this is the navigation bar which is saying it right now It will take few moments of time, so you have to be, be patient at this point of time. And ensure that you are not pressing any other buttons like power button or say the menu button etc. As you can see that, start installing systems and linking is being done, flashing kernel and flashing bottom. And the second last line it will read as thanks for using Quantum Light ROM, please reboot. And so from SD card has been completed. So now at this point of time, what you do is just tap on the go back option and then just simply set the option of reboot system now, which will eventually reboot your device to the Samsung Galaxy F3 GTI 9300 logo.
like there's a welcome screen shown Just wait for a minute because it will take some seconds of time for getting it to be booted up you can see that the menu key and the back button have just lit up real stuck on the Samsung logo for quite a while since it loads up all the applications which are there in this custom ROM it takes a few minutes of time to make the country select option has arrived just tap on start after which it will ask for the Wi-Fi so we can skip the section as of now and then proceed to skip okay, and this you can skip it Samsung account can be managed at a later stage and then use Google yes I do but not at this point in time I'll be able to help you out It's done hot now. You can skip all these options. Once assuming that you have done all this, no. So that's it. This is the one which I'm talking about tap on settings and just we'll be checking out on whether the firmware has been updated or not so you can see that there's a bottom right ROM x6 DLIV based so this this is what so that's it from us you can check out check out the wallpapers which this one comes with this ROM is pretty smooth and also comes with all the features which the stock ROM comes with it also comes with a whole lot of new wallpapers which are we'll be checking out there's a live wallpaper section there's a live wallpapers this wallpaper is already there in the default firmware if you ask me then what are the advantage of this firmware this firmware comes with the pre-rooted one and also with all the stabilities along with CWM app by default so you don't have to install it again so here it is this firmware is pretty much smooth and one of the best firmware ever so that's it from us stay tuned for more